So we have a question from Mary Jane, and she asks, Please do not think me unkind, but this has been bothering me for quite some time. I am speaking about the many so-called modern-day prophets. It is my understanding that their prophecies must be 100% accurate. What I am seeing that is so common is what looks like a circus act with the music playing in the background while they speak in order to rouse the emotions of the audience, and their message oftentimes doesn't even make sense. It appears many of them are trying really hard to show themselves as important and modern day prophets. Are there really and truly present day God ordained prophets? Good question. This is a great question. We get it in a variety of ways. Um, I think one of the first most important things that to set the, set the tone is um, in all these different questions that we get is First of all, we understand the essentials of salvation, that you know, salvation is found in, in Jesus Christ alone and, and through Absolutely. grace, through faith. So any, any place that we might disagree with somebody, uh, regardless, there's a lot of disagreements within the body of Christ. We know from John 13, 35, Jesus said, they will know that you're my disciples because of your love for one another. Right. And so we really want to say that even if we disagree, we're not questioning anybody's salvation. We're not questioning their motives, their heart. And so here, here's a question that comes up. Another variety of it is, um, why, if you guys are so interested in prophecy, do you not spend time uh, on the modern day pro prophets who are making prophecies of different mm -hmm. kinds? And so it's a good question. She, she brings up the idea of, of being 100% accurate, and that comes out of Deuteronomy 18, 18 through 20, where uh, Moses is writing and says, if a prophet comes, he speaks something, supposedly, thus says the Lord, uh, if it it must come to pass. And if it does not come to pass, then they are not to be feared because God has not sent him. Uh, additionally, uh, they are to be stoned. And so you have this, this standard of 100%, which is true. We see in the book of Jeremiah as well. But when, when she says that, she's right. And so for us, as we think about the, those that are claiming to be modern day prophets, I mean, you look back at the last election cycle and you have these prophets claiming that that. Trump was going to be, not just win, but he was going to be installed on January 20th again. And then you have other groups that were modern day prophets saying, no, you, those prophets got it wrong. Trump absolutely is not going to win. And so then you go, well, what do, what do you do with all this information? And so uh, in a general way, I think our answer would be, spe specifically for us, is um, we, we're not necessarily called in our ministry, you just read our purpose statement, uh, to go and to chase down every last prophet and to check their record. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that, would, that would distract us from, from our ministry of seeking right. to preach and teach on prophecy. Um, there's no way. There's, there's other ministries out there uh, called discernment ministries that try to go and track all these people down, but that's not us. That we, we just almost we say, hey, you know what? Let somebody else do it. Now, certainly we believe, is it possible for God to speak through a person today? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. For sure. But because it's so hard to ascertain each person's uh, record, and it has to be 100% track record, that has not changed. Uh, we just don't feel called to go um, in that direction. Secondly, one of the questions or comments that, we, that at least Bob and I talk about is, um, what are these prophets saying, these modern day prophets? What are they saying that is different than the Old Testament prophets or the New Testament prophets in the Bible? We, we know that all the scripture is true, it's been vetted, and therefore we're spending our time on what we know is vetted instead of chasing down some of these other things. So mm -hmm. to answer a question, in some ways we say, is it possible for God? Yeah, we don't put God in a box. But it's also very problematic and sometimes um, truly time consuming to try to check everybody out. And so for us, our, our, we want to be on guard. And, and what we mean by that is 2 Timothy 3 tells us that all this is inspired by God. It's profitable for doctrine, for correction, for reproof, to make us complete. And so we believe that the written word is sufficient. Mm -hmm. And there's enough here to keep us busy, yeah. for sure, yeah. and to be watching and to teaching and training. So in many ways, we don't, we, we're not going to allow ourselves to really get drawn into that. So, yeah. I mean, to answer her question, in some ways, yes, it's possible. But we just encourage you to stick with the scripture yeah. because so many of these other ones Again, what are they saying that's different? Absolutely. And I would add to that, that if uh, Mary Jane is maybe specifically questioning a modern day prophet, then she can go to the word of God and double check what they're saying against the scriptures. Because 
um, if they truly are of God and ordained by God to be a, a modern day prophet, then they will never say anything that does not align with mm -hmm. the scriptures. And if they are leading against the scriptures, then that's red flag number one that we don't even need to waste another moment questioning whether or not they are God breathed because um, they're obviously going with their own agenda that is not scripturally based. Mm -hmm. 1 Thessalonians 5, 21 says to test all things, hold fast to that which is good. Um, 1 John 4, 1 says the same thing, to test the spirits. So you have these claims and, um, you know, we encourage anybody, if you're going to, if you're going to dabble there, then you need to be knowledgeable enough to test them. But I have enough here yeah. and, and that's really yeah. our goal. Yeah, absolutely.